Hello and welcome. This video, uh, two things. First, I will be handicapping one NFL game this week at, at Raw, meaning uh, for the first time. But I'm going to wait till player specials come out before I do. As when I go to the American football side, or that of the NFL, what I do is I would find in here, like say Atlanta Rams, I'm looking for specials that would come up. And, and it does. So in here, um, I guess they'd be available. Uh, I might do this later on. So if you have any suggestions for the game you might want to see, I'm going to handicap these plays in here. Look at these players. And uh, uh, one of the first things I would say here, there's not, there's probably going to be more picks coming in later. I'm also looking for those names I've never really heard of that have these low numbers along the way. But that'll be later. Maybe even for tomorrow because... Uh, or once I see how the lines transpire. But I want to talk about blackjack and counting cards. And you might have heard about an MIT basic blackjack count. Well, I've come up with one that's a little bit better. No, theirs is good. Mine's just a little bit better. I was thinking years ago about writing a book called Ace's Rule, or Ace's Rules, or something like that. Because in so many games, even in games like King Cribbage, where aces mathematically are the key card, like actually the five is big there, the ace is still a pretty powerful card in different sets. And it's a tricky card. But in most games, it is a powerful card. In Blackjack, by no exception, it is most certainly that. But what we do is you go to an online, there's a lot of online places where you can play blackjack. I have played one hand in the last couple of years, and I won it. I think it was a plus eight when I played. I was just fooling around a couple of days ago, three days ago, maybe ten or five. But what I want to do is I want to verify first that blackjacks pay three to two because there's a big problem. Blackjack's going like six to five payouts, and if that's the case, don't even go there. It's You're not going to be a losing player. Uh, I haven't verified the math on that, but I pretty much know from all the work I did before a few years ago that it would be. You want to make sure seats are open because if you can see there's a table, there's a lot of options for different uh, games you can go to. You want to make sure that there's one, two, three seats open so that if you ever find a count to get in. Uh, and how early are you in the deck? Or late for that matter. Because if you're very early, then you can start the count. If you're very late, you can wait for a new deck to start. So how I do the count, R relatively similar, but a few changes to the traditional count. The changes are uh, ranking 7 through 9, I do count where the traditional one doesn't. And the ace, I subtract 4 rather than 1. So the three, point, the three card in 7, 8, 9 that I'm adding the points to gets valued extra towards the ace. And I've done several, several, several large data sets when showing what happens in the differential when you got a, a count heavily reflected based on the ace versus the faces and it's a mile difference and then when the count is at least plus 10 when you're playing and that's when you sit and play if the count is negative most certainly you don't want to play and even if it's small positive you want to wait to get the odds in your favor but no matter what you do the odds are only going to be so okay and when you click on live casino and you have to have uh you have to be logged in to play. You get all of these different rooms. You got a blackjack lobby right there. So you have one at that point. And here we have this one here from Evolution Gaming. So we have this casino. Uh, I'm not looking into back right or roulette or any of this. I don't even know what Super Sick Bow is. I don't even know if that's pronounced right. C-I-S. It's obviously an Asian name. I can tell just by looking at it. Uh, Monopoly Live. I don't want and I don't even, That's probably like a like a slot machine because I don't know what's live I don't know what it would be anyway obviously it's a chance game where odds are not in your favor never heard of Ondar Bahar never heard of that and Dragon Tiger I've never heard of either I don't think odds would be in your favor but Blackjack they can be so if you click on Blackjack then what's going to come up is a screen something like this this will pop up and uh, then after that you're going to get something that looks like this and am I still logged in on here uh, well anyway this is the image I want I was going to show so here you have all of the different games you can play so what you can see in here is how many empty seats so there's a whole bunch of empty seats here 
I would prefer to sit this room. I don't want to make a tent big attention scene. If I sit here, okay, now I got one person watching, another person sitting. But just imagine going to a live casino and then uh, literally uh, just sitting down and waiting. And that Maybe you're using a pen and paper to do it because you can't count in your head or you don't want to. And I don't blame you there, although I can do it. Or maybe you want to be more advanced and you write a computer formula of big, and you take every single individual card, every two, three, four, seven, face, ace, and then you can get every single probability. And then when you do that, you can also get in those situations where you can adjust your plays, especially the common ones, like a 16 versus a six, and uh, even so, just a lot of the very uh, marginal spots, or uh, maybe a doubling a nine versus a, a we'll say a three, or four, well, even a three is actually, yeah, nine against a three. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. And uh, MCBH, that represents the minimum bet, I believe, and that works out to 0 0.03 Bitcoin cash anyway. And what that means is that, uh, that's like five bucks or six bucks, I think, in today's prices. It's probably even a bit cheaper because Bitcoin cash is down. But for what it's worth, it's available. Whether you want to do it or not, if I'm bored, I, I, I know I might have something to do, but you could just imagine what it would be like to sit in a casino, have a little computer in front of you, you're just typing in every single number, and then you're like, yeah, I'm going to play now. I mean, I got a count of plus 14. I got a situation where only four aces have been played. There's been 17 of these cards played, six of those, five of those, nine of those. And now I know there's a 27.125% chance this is going to happen and all those kinds of cool things. And, and actually, way back in a while, I kind of did do that with a spreadsheet. Let's see if I can find it. And there she be. I haven't, I haven't looked at this spreadsheet in a long time. Which uh, gave me some statistics. And what you're doing here, and just in these spots, is you would... Uh, just put in uh, what the card was. This represented a face, that was a one was an ace, and it, it would just uh, do all the calculations for you. And you see, after I put all these small numbers in, the value gets better. But if I put in some bigger numbers, like a face card, 12, 1, 10, 8, value, 10, 4, put an ace in, oh, that just crushes it down. I mean, that that's the thing about it. Uh, an ace in the game really can change it up flow. So I, I, I believe if you're counting on a real deck, if all you did to do an easy count, if all you count was aces and, and pretty much what the sum of the decks are, that in itself could actually work out to be pretty... Uh, pretty good. Anyway, that was just something that I made way back in the day. Thank you for tuning in, and uh, have yourself a great day. Bye-bye.